What's up, YouTube? Savage you here, and welcome back to another reaction video. Today, we're going to listen to Manchester Orchestra. This is The Silence. Well, the song is called The Silence. And this band was formed in 2004. Looks like they're from Atlanta, Georgia. Indie rock. So, I just want to see, you know, maybe a little brief little history about them before we get started. There's four active members. There's four past members. What kind of music do they make? Some indie rock, alternative, indie folk, art rock, emo, post-hardcore. Okay, I got a nice bag of stuff there. Interesting here. All right, let's see. So they've been active for quite a while. How many albums do they have? Should say here somewhere about, okay, here we go. About six different albums spanning across a pretty healthy amount of time. So it looks like they're active. They're not incredibly active, but it looks like they have, you know, a handful of albums probably with their best stuff on it. So that's nice to see. Looks like they perform at Lollapalooza, Coachella, stuff like that. Okay. All right. I'm interested to see what they have going on here because... I like the word orchestra. I'm not gonna lie, I like the word orchestra. As far as the instruments that we're gonna hear in the song, I don't know, I mean, I think it's gonna be pretty standard because it does seem like it's a overall a rock band here. We have some guitar, keyboards, percussion, bass, yeah, okay, nothing crazy. All right, let's give it a listen. I'm a little bit confused here. <laughs> Let's give this one a listen, everybody. I think this is the official music video. All right, here we go. And we'll also take a little bit more of that. Check one, check two. Check one, check two. Yep. Check one, check two. Hey, yep. That's perfect. Check. We're good with my vocal everywhere. Check one, two. Check, check one, two. Check, one, two. Here's right here again. I like the black and white. Yeah, just wants to make sure we're not going to lose something if we go all the way down. All right, who's the singer here? I like that deep percussion. This uh, lead singer seems like he has a pretty versatile voice because it's really nice and soothing in the lower tones, but I think he's going to have a pretty nice rock voice as soon as he starts ramping up here. The name of the, I just want to see his name real quick. 
lead vocals. Okay, that is Andy Hall. Okay. I think this is uh this sounds pretty indie right now. Maybe a little folk. Not really sure. Could turn into some alternative. Could be a bag of things, like I was mentioning earlier, you know, just all accumulating to a singular sound, just you know, whatever you want it to, to sound like really. But I think this is gonna be like a nice plethora of different things. Let me know. As it stands, that's a pretty nice song. I was enjoying the tempo to start off, but like for nine minutes long, we need to, we need to get it going here. <laughs> we need to, we need to pick it up a little bit. I think you know something's about to break, but I mean we're four minutes in. All right, let's let's kick it up. Let's kick it out. Come on. Why do I decide the space? I was morning uh huh. like his voice a lot it is a, like a little nasally um but i think it's, he's doing it beautifully it sounds really good that's not a knock at all that's definitely not a knock definitely has a, a beautiful voice Patience is rewarded, my friends. That is a nice payoff right there. That is sick.
Jesus. Bring it back down. Okay, the arrangement was really good. I was getting worried. The arrangement, you know, really good. Nice. Nice song. Little girl, you were cursed by my ancestry. There is nothing but darkness and agony. I could not only see, but you stopped me from blinking. Let me watch you as close as a memory. Let me hold you above all the misery. Let me open my eyes and be glad that I got here. Good night, y'all. beautiful song you know i was getting a little worried at the beginning because the song had 134 million views it was nice and all the lyrics were the lyrics were good i'm gonna have to go back and read them complete but completely though to get the entire message but i did like the voice quite a bit the the tempo of the song reeled me in right away but then it was kind of it was it was letting me go, you know, because it, it was like four minutes in, but then it, it brought me right back when the, when they uh, actually got into, when they picked it up. So it, t it took me the entire song to appreciate it for what it is, because I was too quick to kind of judge it for um, halfway through. And, you know, that's that could be okay. I, 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 I admit it. And as long as I, I can realize what happened... And then appreciate the song for what it is at the end. I'm completely okay with that. And that turns out to be a really good song. So well done on them. I think that was a beautiful song. The arrangement, like I said, at the end, I realized was really good. So it is a 8 minute and 45 seconds. You have to go in there with an open mind and appreciate it from the start to the end without drawing your conclusions right away. And every day you learn something new. <laughs> but overall, I really enjoyed it. I thought... They all had, you know, the, 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 the music was really good and the voice was really good. The, the overall feeling and like setting of the song, I think they, they, they set a good emotional tone as well. And that's partly due to the lyrics, which I'm about to read as soon as this video ends. So let me know what you think about this song, you guys, if you would like to see more Manchester Orchestra down below. I quite enjoyed it, I will admit. So let me know down below. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Leave a like on your way out. And I'll see you soon. Peace.